Good morning, family. Dad. Wiglin. You're awake. Ah. Uh. Morning, Riv. How is my sweetheart doing this morning? Oh. I'm very good. Thanks for asking, honey. Now. Everyone's here, so. What could we do today? I thought we were going to dance. Oh, yes. Nearly forgot about that. We dance every day. Oh, Wiglin. I'm not sure you got the news, but apparently, we are going to be having new neighbors move in next door today. Oh, cool. I mean, I never expected anyone to move into that house after the old neighbors left due to the house looking like a huge dumpster. Yeah, I, I think I kind of agree with you on that. Ah, uh, Mom, Dad, I think that's the new neighbors just arrived right now. Yo, babe, mind carrying one of those other boxes over here? Oh, anything for you, my dear. Great. Ruff Raff is our new neighbor. Yeah. Along with his dumb girlfriend, Sonora. Well, as long as he doesn't influence our children, having him as our neighbor might not be a problem at all. Right? Yeah. We'll just see how this plays out, shall we? Agree. In the meantime, Squigglin, you stay away from the neighbors. What? But? But? How come, Dad? You just can't. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. And lucky for us we'll have Kelpin here in our hands so Ruff Raff wouldn't be a problem to him yet, so I guess we're all safeguarded. Right, Riv? Of course. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, I do. It sounds like the new neighbors have their music on too loud. Someone do something. I can hear it over my cartoon. Don't worry, Squigglin. I'll go try talk to them now. Please do. You need anything? Yes. I am here to politely ask you to turn down that music you and your boyfriend are playing in there. It's too loud and none of us can concentrate with it. Also, we have children with us. So please, no loud music. No music, huh? Now, let me think about it. Goodbye. Wait, what? Everything okay, your Sinoara? Who was that anyway? Ah, uh, just the neighbors complaining about our music. Something about telling us to turn it off. We'll just ignore what they say. Oh, look at you doing the right thing there. I certainly am. So, did they listen to you? Well, you see. We're here to complain about your loud music. You do think you're the freaking landlords. Get lost. Try again with pleading with us. We'll never listen. Yo, keep trying, losers. Oh, that is it. If you two play that loud, godforsaken music one more time, I will burn down your stupid blumming house until there's nothing of it left but burnt black ash. Do you understand? I'd like to see a try. Okay. But bear in mind that this is your only warning. No turning back now. I don't believe that kid. Ruff Ruff, listen. This might be our last warning. I mean, we might not be aware of what he's capable of. Oh, Sinoara, you know he's joking. Besides, the way we like to play with our toys is to test what they do. Oh, you asked for it now. You moron! Okay, I must admit, babe, that was a tiny bit trash, but...
<laughs> I warned you too that this was your last straw. Now say goodbye to your wretched, filthy new home. <laughs> okay, okay, kid. We're sorry. We promise not to play that loud music again. Just please don't burn our house down. That's right. We just moved in. Please. We're sorry. All right. I suppose I forgive you. For now, that is. But any more shenanigans like loud music and you will not get redemption. Get that? Oh, thank you, kid. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're sorry. Well, Wiglin, so glad you didn't end up burning down the neighbor's house in the end and that the neighbors have stopped their annoying music. Well, for now. Oh. It was nothing. Yo, neighbor, it's us again. We'd like to say sorry again for all that commotion you had to hear from us. Uh, is it okay if we come in, please? Should we? Well, I suppose the kids are asleep by now. So that won't be a problem. I mean, they are our neighbors after all. All right. You can come in. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. Well, you know what they say, good neighbors become good friends sometimes. <laughs>